the first page type that we're going to talk about is a home page. Now, what is a home page? That is the first page of a website that anyone will find at your root domain. So when somebody says, I'm going to go to www.yoursite.com, the page that they land on is going to be the home page. That's going to be the thing that really welcomes your guests, your visitors. It's going to be their first impression of your website and of you. So you're going to want to put your best content there. You're going to want to put the most important things right there that's going to tell them exactly where they are and why they're there. And it's going to keep them there. So that's going to be, be the thing that really hooks your visitors into staying on your website and exploring it. Some of the key elements of having a successful home page is going, going to be having you know, your headline or your site title front and center. You're going to have some type of subline that kind of gives you a dis uh, description, tells a little bit more about you. Uh, you're going to want some type of call to action and some imagery um, that maybe work together. You're also going to want to have maybe somewhere that they can sign up so that if they don't have time right now to look at your content, they might sign up and you can reach out to them again later. So keeping those things in mind, um, you can really represent yourself well right off the bat, um, get somebody's information or be able to follow up with them, um, and lead them into more important content. So what makes a home page great? You're going to want to have some large, high-quality images uh, right there to greet your visitors. Um, you're definitely going to want to keep in mind having a clean navigation and a clean layout here. That way, the content is going to be organized and accessible to them. You don't want to overload somebody with a bunch of links to click right off the bat. You'll also want to have your logo or company name prominently displayed on your home page. Right off the bat, they're going to want to know where they are and who you are. You're going to want a simple call to action so that you can draw somebody in and get them to do something right off the bat. Get them involved. Make it interactive. So now I can go ahead and start creating my home page. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is getting my imagery up so I can feel like I'm actually part of my own home page. I'm going to go ahead and keep the existing one, but I want to replace it with my own content. I'm going to scroll down to the thumbnail image, and I'm, I'm going to remove that one. I went ahead and I made a folder of all my images and my banners and all the images and text that I need for my site. I'm going to choose my home page banner, and I'm going to upload that. Now I want to make sure that I have the text that applies to me. I'm going to go ahead and open up my text document. And for my home page, I'm going to go ahead and say, I have handcrafted wood, and we use sustainable resources. I want to invite people to, with our tagline, go with us. And then I'm going to go ahead and set up my call to action. So let me go ahead and edit my URL so that when people type in home, they'll find that. So far, that looks good. So let me save it. And there's my image. I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. And now I have access to all of these content blocks. On Squarespace, you actually build your content using different blocks. These are going to be text blocks. I have two spacer blocks right on either side of this to make this a bit smaller. And then I have image blocks that are holding these two pictures. I'm going to go ahead and edit this tagline first. I'm going to take my text that I've already written. Fallen by nature, salvaged by hand. That, go ahead, that goes ahead right off the bat and says, this is where our stuff comes from, and this is what we do. Now for these images, I'm going to go ahead and edit this image block. Remove the existing one. I have images that I've already taken for these. But if I didn't, I could go ahead and use Getty Images to look at some sample stock images, find one that might work that way. I'm going to go to my home page folder. And this one's going to actually be for my handmade products. So I'll upload that. You can use the aviary editor to adjust some simple things like cropping, brightness, contrast. I want to crop this a little bit so that I have the same aspect ratio for both of my images. I'm going to save it and see where I am now. So right now, it looks a little bit rough. I don't have all of my pages up. Um, so what I need to do is I need to get all of my content up so that I can start linking things and have these pages actually make sense. If somebody lands on this page, the links are not going to lead them anywhere. They're not going to find anything, any of the content until we have it all up. Now we have a pretty basic layout that looks good. Uh, we'll be able to get into more of the details of how to style it with colors that really work for our pictures and for our brand uh, once we get into the style editor and designing the actual components of the site.